Hello there beautiful people. So my last like story time kind of video went down quite well and I'm really happy about it because I really want to make more of those kind of videos. Today I'm going to be talking about my first ever piercing which is this, I look really strange, my, my, uh, <laughs> my nose. So I'm going to be talking about my nose but before, before, uh, before I start talking about my nose, um, my last story time video which you might have watched was about like the people that I've met while I've been in work, like Alex Gaskarth and stuff, and it's really, really cool. And um, like two weeks ago, I went to the Bring Me The Horizon signing, they've been one of my favorite bands for like ages, and the new album's really, really good. And I went to go meet them and it was really cool. And then like a few days later, um, I was in work, as always, and I was, about, I was kind of in the middle of serving this guy until, but he, was trying to sign for a receipt so I was like mind if I serve the next person and I turned around and I was kind of confused and um, looking at this person and I was like what's going on and then when they came over and they was like can I have a look they were really like quiet and seemed dead sweet and like um, I don't know the word like a little bit socially awkward yeah and he said can I have large soya coffee frappuccino and um, I was like, are you in Bring Me The Horizon? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, I went to your signing the other day in HMV and he was like, oh right, that's cool. So anyway, I just gave, gave him the drink and I said, do you mind if I get a quick picture with you? And he was like, yeah, do you want me to come like around there? And I was like, yeah, I'll like, I walked over to meet him. Got a picture with him and he seemed really nice. And he said, I said his new album was really, really good. And then he said thank you and left and he seemed really really nice and um, it was Matt the bassist by the way I always get the names confused because there's two Matts in there, Matt Nichols and Matt Keane anyway it's difficult everyone seems to make out that if you know the singer's name but not the other names properly then you're not a proper fan but realistically the only reason I know the singer's name is because of people who don't like the band saying you only know all these Ikes, you only know all these Ikes, all these Ikes, all these Ikes, all these Ikes like well I'm, yeah now I know his name like pretty well thank you do you know what I mean so yeah Anyway, that was amazing. So thank you, Rue the Horizon, for being really nice. And that new album is mega good, even though I'm pretty sure that I've told all of you by now. So yeah, getting into the actual story time. I'm sat on my bed today instead of being sat over there and I've got a stitch on my knee and I've got a cup of tea. Because today's my chill day. Um, I've been like, I've been working quite a bit extra because um, I'm not low on money but I want to save up for a holiday I'm kind of really wanting a holiday now so I've been working a bit extra and this week I didn't really have many plans because my YouTube was kind of like sorted like I didn't have many ideas for what I wanted to do on my YouTube channel. Yeah I'm going to stop going on about that so I've been working a little bit extra so that's why I've been a little bit tired and today I'm just chilling out on my bed watching loads of episodes of Friends and stuff and yeah, this is pretty much the only thing that I've been really concentrating on so far this week. I want to obviously get my life back in track <laughs> and start um, doing my yoga and writing music and practicing music and editing videos a lot more because obviously that's what makes me happy and feel productive and stuff. But yeah, I've been concentrating a lot on this. If you're thinking about getting your first ever piercing, listening to my story will probably help because if I'd have listened to someone else's full story then it probably would have helped me. Um, nothing went like extremely wrong except for a minor fall of mine but yeah. Um, I've started to think by the way, I think one of the main reasons that people get really addicted to like piercings and tattoos is because it's kind of like something to take care of. Um, it's kind of like having a pet, like having to wash it twice a day and keep an eye on it and watch it kind of heal and become a part of you is kind of, do you know what I mean? Anyway, so yeah. I've wanted my nose pierced for probably nearly 10 years, like as soon as I started getting into the bands like Green Day, he had his nose pierced when he was kind of young, but apparently it got caught on like a guitar strap or something like that, but I've always wanted my nose pierced, I thought it'd be the best suited to me, and I, my nose is in the shadow so that's why I keep talking this way. That's why I normally record over there on my sofa by the way, because my window's right here, and um, when I'm facing this way, you can see all the awkward shadows, like the bags under my eyes and the shadow covering my piercing. So yeah, um, one of my nose pierced for years, but I'm scared of like permanent things. Um, I don't really know exactly what it is. I'm just scared of things being permanent, I suppose. So I'm more more scared of tattoos. I'm kind of getting. I've always liked tattoos and always wanted a tattoo but probably always thought I'll never actually get one but I'm not sure I might get one um, obviously it'll take me 
a while to find like the perfect type of artist and the perfect design and where exactly I'd want it and stuff like that. Um, but they are nice and it's kind of like a nice addition to your body. It add, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a heartwarming thing sometimes. That sounds really cheesy. That's not how I meant it. Anyway, still rambling on. So I just decided like I'm gonna get it done ASAP. As soon as my next day off is, I'm just going to get my nose pierced because I've wanted it for too long and I'm sick of being kind of uptight in a way and being like worried about everything so I'm just going to get my nose pierced. Hey, there it is. And so um, I did vlog the day of my nose piercing so at the end of this video I will like leave a, a link to it so you can go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. So I decided I'm definitely gonna get it done and in order for me to not chicken out, I booked myself in there, even though you can just go in and kind of drop in at any point. Um, I booked myself into a place called Holy Than Now in Manchester because literally everyone that I asked said that that's what, where they would recommend. So I went there and it, I was really nervous. I don't know, my, my, just, my, start, my heart starts a little beat when things, my heart starts a little beat, no, my heart starts to beat, <laughs> like, when things, I don't know, you know how it feels to be anxious and nervous, I don't need to try and explain that. So I sat down waiting, and I was reading, like, the aftercare thing, and I was like, oh, yeah, this seems easy, this is exactly what um, my boyfriend and people have told me, clean it twice a day with salt water, don't put stuff on it, don't put makeup on it, don't fiddle around with it. Um, my boyfriend gave me a really good talking to, he was like, don't twist it in case it started to scab up a little bit because it can kind of tear the inside of your nose a bit. I got the piercing, I sat down and then the, when I actually looked at the needle it did scare me because the needle's really thick because the way it works is I think that they put like a, the needle with a tube attached to it and then feed the piercing back through the tube. So um, oh I'm talking. So yeah I sat down on the piercing desk, the needle scared me a little bit and then he was drew a little point and I said, can you move it a little bit more this this direction towards the, towards here? Because it looked like where it is now looks fine to me. He was gonna put it a bit more towards the tip of my nose just by like a millimeter or something. So yeah, I prefer, pre prefer it here. So I asked him to redraw the tip, which is fine. And then he said like, take a deep breath and then you breathe out when the needle goes in, take deep breaths and stuff. It helps deal with the pain, it really does. And um, I closed my eyes because I didn't want to see that massive needle and I tried keeping a straight face because I didn't want it to kind of ruin my nose or anything like that, but I couldn't help, like I had to really squeeze my face when it went in because it did hurt. Um, things that, if you're getting a piercing, um, make sure that you've eaten recently and had water and stuff like that and not like been drinking alcohol and stuff because it can make it bleed more if you've been drinking and if you've not been eating it can make the pain worse or you could possibly pass out from the pain and stuff like that and it felt kind of blurry I didn't feel like I was going to pass out but it felt kind of like oh do you know what I mean it takes you back a little bit like this so yeah they slipped the piercing through and then I got up and it felt kind, kind of like a, a bit of a numb tingling slightly burning thing going on and I um, checked in the mirror and was really happy with it and said thank you and then left. It was bleeding a little bit obviously. Connor told me to just let the blood dry and then later on that night to clean it for the first time with hot salt water. So with the hot salt, hot salt water, you should just do it twice a day, don't over clean it because it could like dry it out. Um, don't put anything extra in it that people use on like tattoos or anything like that because it is a different um, kind of wound or you know, it's a different thing. Um, literally just all you need to do with it is use the, I think they're called gorges. It's like a cotton wool pad, but the cotton wool won't like flake off or anything like that. It's a pad that I use to take off my makeup. So I got some, some proper sea salt from Tesco and then I put like a teaspoon in with about like this much hot water, because this is a big mug. This is like probably 12 or 16 ounces maybe. Um, but you feel like eight to 10 ounces or something, like one teaspoon's fine. It apparently shouldn't taste any more salty than like tears. Um, mix it with boiling water and then let it cool down a bit because if you, obviously if you put boiling water on your face, it'll hurt. The only reason it might sting a tiny bit really is if the water's a tiny bit too hot for your skin. So just let it cool down a little bit, but still warm 
enough for, for to help the, the piercing when you're cleaning it obviously. So yeah, just make the salt water, dip it in with the little cotton wool pad that isn't going to flake off and then I kind of hold it here like this so it can kind of soak a little bit and then just wipes off around the edges and wipes on the inside a little bit because you can get infected from both sides. So that was going fine and then the second day after I had it done I started worrying and I was thinking oh maybe there's blood drying up inside my nose. Um, it said on the aftercare sheet to, oh what's the word, oh yeah, to submerge the piercing in hot salt water. So I felt like that meant, because I'd seen someone else do it once when I was younger, you had to take the piercing out and put it in the salt water. Even though I'd been told not to take it out, I thought people meant don't take it out for like a longish amount of time because it'll, it'll heal up really fast and don't take it out to try and change it. Blah, blah blah. I didn't think they meant literally do not take it out no matter what. <laughs> if you're getting if you're gonna get a piercing, do not take it out no matter what. Don't take it out for anything. Even if it gets infected, go and get it seen to carry on carry on cleaning it like normal. Do not take it out because your nose will still be swollen and irritated and you will not be able to get it back in no matter what. As mine is like a little corkscrew, so on the inside of my nose. Say this is the wall of my nose, the cock is kind of circled like that so that it can't really come out. It can come out a little bit, which does hurt, but it can't completely come out unless you really try to take it out. Well, it probably can, it can come out, but it's hard, it's difficult for it to come out, obviously, because that's why they do it, so it doesn't come out when you've just had it pierced because it needs to stay in there for at least two months up until it's like fully healed. So, um, I took it out to try and clean it and then I tried getting it back in and my heart started beating instantly like what have I done, What I've, this is probably not going to go back in now, What like I don't, when I'm having a bit of a panic I don't seem to think about things very well, um, so I started panicking thinking that I needed to clean it more thoroughly, started trying to take it out, eventually got it out and then as soon as I got, got it out I was like how am I going to get this back in though? So I cleaned my nose a little bit and then I was trying to get it back in and it was impossible, I asked my mum to help me out and, she, and it was just not going well, it was just getting more angry, it even started to bleed a tiny little bit again and I was crying, I was like really freaking out, like I'm gonna have to wait six months until it's healed up properly and then get it back done, pierced over again and I really didn't want that to happen, anyway eventually I found one of my mum's earrings and I put that in and I put a plaster over it so that it wouldn't go wrong and then I went back in the next day and they had to swap the piercing back over for me and that hurt more than the actual piercing itself. They had to reopen the hole and then kind of put the piercing back through and it took longer than the piercing and it did really hurt. So do not take the piercing out no matter what. So yeah, that's the mini bad story of what's happened. Since then it's been fine. I've been really worried about it getting infected obviously because I had an earring in there. I did sterilise the earring in the hot water, hot salt water first and clean over it a bit. But um, yeah, I've been really worried about it getting infected. Uh, that's like a bad thing to happen. So yeah, but it has been fine. Let me show you. So yeah, I'm really happy with my first ever piercing. Beeping outside. I'm really happy with my first ever proper piercing. I did have my ears done years ago when I was really young, but I didn't really care about them. I didn't, my ears are hidden anyway so this is the first piercing that I've had done like completely by my own choice I paid for it myself obviously my mum wouldn't have got my ears pierced if I didn't want it done like she's not one of those parents um but yeah so um my nose is all done my nose is going off now my nose <laughs> My phone is going off, not my nose. There's not much else to say about it. So yeah, don't over clean it. Don't worry about like getting inside there properly like I was worried about. Just wait, carry on cleaning it twice a day with salt water on a little pad where the bits of cotton wool won't flake off. And then when it's gone down a little bit, you can kind of move it forward a little bit. Like that. I'm gone. Yeah, you can. I know I look ridiculous, but you can move it forward a little bit so you can get a bit more in there if you want, but do not take it out. It's painful. Stressful, that was the most stressed I've been in a long time. And yeah, so thank you very much for watching this video and watching me 
ramble on with myself. If you're feeling friendly, you can come say hi on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram or any of that. And if you haven't yet, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and it will be very much appreciated. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to go now. I will see you all soon. Bye bye. Bye. OMG, it's bleeding a bit, but yeah, and it was painful. I'm not going to deny that it's painful, it makes your eyes water as well. But it's kind of just like getting a normal injection, but then there's the extra little twist when they put the bar in. But yeah.